Just like my last haul episode, we're starting off with C-3PO Black Seas once again, but this time around it's the Walgreens exclusive C-3PO and we have the silver leg and the golden arm instead of the red arm and the gold leg. So this is the original trilogy version of C-3PO, finally we got him after all these years that we've been having R2-D2 displayed alone, now we have C-3PO to accompany him. So very cool, it took me a while to find the Walgreens exclusive of C-3PO, but finally it's here. I like it, it's a good figure, so I'm glad Hasbro released both versions of C-3PO and did not just let us have the newer Force Awakens version. Hey, what's up everybody, Evil Veronatic will bring you another action figure haul episode, and this time I'm gonna start it a little bit big here with a wrestling ring. Now, if you guys have seen my previous episode hauls of figures and stuff like that, I mentioned that I do and I am collecting the ECW original um, action figures from the 90s, I think it was, or the 2000s, and this is the ring set that they did for Toys R Us, it was an exclusive set, and it's pretty hard to come by, I mean, I was stalking eBay for this for the longest time, nobody had posted this set up at all, somebody did it and it was loose, I wanted a mint on card, it didn't have to be sealed, but it turns out that this one is sealed, never open, never touched, so that's even better, that's right around my ballpark, and it's not in the best condition it's got some creases dents but that is going to be expected i'm not going to expect a 100 percent mint perfect condition and i'm never going to find that so i got this one i i bought it right away it was buying now i ended up paying a hundred dollars for it more than i thought i would pay for this set but seeing that it is sealed never open and it's, you know it's in the box and I'm, i mean i just had to get it because i didn't i didn't know when i was going to find it again on ebay but anyways there it is so this is the ecw or, you know figures from back when they were doing pretty good with themselves and i also did get this which is pretty hard to come by too it's just an accessory set but this combo here i've never really seen it either but and it's supposed to be autographed by rob van dam don't know if it's authentic or not but uh it's there you know i really could care less if it's real or fake but if it's real, that's an awesome plus. Target yet again has another exclusive for Star Wars The Black Series. Last time it was the two pack that was the Riot Trooper with the Poe Dameron from the Force Awakens movie. Now we're going on to Rogue One. They have a three pack out now with some pretty much some reissues. We have the Death Trooper that's reissued, just a different, um, some different accessories on him. Got, he's got a black pauldron on him. And then we have the same ex exact Jin Urso. It looks exactly the same as the single release. So. Then we have Captain Cassian Andor in a different outfit than we got in before, so that's pretty much new. Uh, but there you go, it's just three figures, so 60 bucks from Target. I'm not really too stoked about the three pack, it's just, you know, I don't think this is going to be hard to get at all. This is going to be really easy to find once they're stocked in the stores. But to complete my Black Series collection, I have to, you know, collect them all, so I got this one right here, so pick up from Target. Uh, not bad. It looks like due to the release of the new Rogue One uh, Star Wars movie coming out this month, uh, Star Wars figures are being pumped out left and right, and that includes Bandai, Tamashi Nations, and Hasbro. Uh, lots of Star Wars merchandise being brought out, and that doesn't just mean it's going to be Rogue One stuff, it's just everything Star Wars, and we have gotten the Rebels. Um, saving Ren here and I think it's a fantastic figure the paint's beautiful on it and the sculpt came out great and everything looks nice I think Hasbro did a pretty good job and fans are going crazy for this figure just like they are for Darth Raven so very nice uh, release by Hasbro and recently released is the Iron Man 1 uh, Mark 3 armor very cool that they're making Iron Man 1 uh, movie figures because this whole hall of armor things i'm excited when this got announced and i'm really happy i hope they go to mark one two uh and four and all that but this is mark three and i'm very very happy that they released this i'm, I'm so stoked for it and i can't wait to get the um the hall of armor put together so there's this yeah another obi-wan kenobi has been released by bandai tamashi nations for shv wars and this is the episode two attack of the clones version of Obi-Wan Kenobi. The first one we got was from Phantom Menace, the first movie. So this is the one where he's got the mullet and the beard. So this is probably the first time that we've gotten this version of Obi-Wan Kenobi in six inch scale. So pretty exciting there. Um, so very cool. I think it's probably for the most part going to be reused sculpts from the last Obi-Wan. Maybe not entirely, but uh, the main attraction is the new head sculpt. So it's not a huge, huge release, not a huge character. Uh, whoops. But it's a neat figure, so that's cool. 
So I can't wait to open it up and check it out. Taking a slight break from Star Wars for a little bit here, we have the Bandai Tamashii Nations Iron Man Mark III armor. Very, very nice figure. I freaking love this figure. This is from Iron Man 1, so they went back and released an armor from Iron Man 1, and it is fantastic. I love it. I remember watching Iron Man 1 in the movie theater, and it was amazing. I watched it twice. I, I was just crazy for it. So, very nice. I love that they made it. I cannot wait for them to make Mark 1, Mark 2, Mark 5, Mark 6. Oh my goodness, there's a remake of Mark 6 is going to be released as well. So, we did get Mark 6 before, but we're going to get a remake of it. And then the Hall of Armor stuff. So, very nice. Love it. All right, we got a few pops here. We got the two GameStop exclusive Vegeta pops from Funko. And these are from the Black Friday mystery boxes that was exclusive to GameStop. So, you had to buy these mystery boxes that you had no idea what pop was in it. And some a bunch of other crap that no one really cared about. But we we're all worried about the pop. And one was the metallic Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta, and then one was just the regular black hair Vegeta. And finally, possibly the most anticipated wave in a while for Black Series. All new figures, no reissues in this wave. We have these three. I'm missing half the wave. I only got these three. It's a lot of uh, Black Series pickups on this haul video. <laughs> Now that I uh, I kind of realized that just now, but anyways, here we have the the at at pilot or the at at pilot, however you like to say it. Sabine Ren right here, uh, Princess Leia Organa right here, and then we're missing Obi Wan Kenobi, which is the Ben Kenobi one, which we got in SDCC, um, but we have a single release of him, and we're missing the Snow Trooper and Darth Raven, which is the most sought after in the wave. But I managed to get half the wave because that's all the had stock in a local GameStop of mine. These are popping up in GameStop. Crazy, right? GameStop got these before anybody else, and it's insane. And I uh, was lucky enough to get at least half the wave at retail price, so that's good. I'm very excited for this wave. Like I said, this is probably one of the best ones in a while. We have some original trilogy, and we have two uh, fan picked ones, which was the Dark Raven and the Saving. So, very cool. Uh, and I'm very excited to review these. And the Star Wars break wasn't that long. Here we are back to Star Wars. And we have the Bandai Tamashii Nations. Obi-Wan Kenobi from Attack of the Clones with the beard and the long hair. And I think this figure came out nice. It's the same sculpt as the Phantom Menace version of Obi-Wan that Bandai released. Uh, but different colors on the sculpt. Different paint on the robe. And uh, of course the head sculpt is different. It's not the same. So... But very nice. I like the figure. It came out nice, and I love how he's posed up right now. So very cool release. I uh, hope we get the episode three version of Obi Wan Kenobi as well, along with the Ben Kenobi from the original trilogy. And last but not least, uh, the final haul piece of this video. A lot of Star Wars this episode around. Uh, we have the C3PO Walgreens exclusive. I finally, finally found him in a local Walgreens. I do not know how many Walgreens I went to, how many times I went to the same ones, just to see they had the damn figure and finally I found him and they did not have a huge stock of him, they only had two, I picked up the two that they had, uh, one to keep uh, mint on card and one to open and review and display, so I'm very happy I found the, the double golden arm version of it, uh, silver leg, this is the original trilogy version of him, the one we all love and this is the Warriors exclusive here is the no number on the side there this is the back so very cool i'm excited that i found him and i didn't need to pay any more than what i had to so with that said uh that concludes my haul video this time around this is haul episode number six and i hope you guys enjoy this haul. a lot of star wars stuff a lot of star wars stuff coming out all at the same time possibly because of the rogue one release coming out this month so uh speaking of that we have a lot of rogue one free hearts coming out this month too we have three of them so stay tuned for that oh my goodness uh but anyways hope you guys enjoyed please leave a like comment subscribe if you guys would like and you guys have a great day bye